Good morning, everyone. This is Teacher Dean, and today we are going to talk about the gig economy. Again, we're talking about the gig economy. So what is the gig economy? The gig economy is where we are learning about using technology. We are also going to be using apps. So is this gig economy new? No, it's not. We used to call that freelancing in Jamaica. We also call it freelancing in America. And it's also part of being self-employed. So it is a great thing. I encourage people to do the gig economy, freelancing, self-employed, and also work for a company. You can use the gig economy half time. You can use the gig economy on a part-time job. And sometimes it ends up being a full-time job. All righty. Now, so when we talk about the gig economy, we're talking about using things like Uber. Many of you know what Uber is. Many of you know what Lyft is. Many of you have used that. Now we have a new ride share company that they call Vibe Ride. Again, it's Vibe Ride. So what is Vibe Ride? Vibe Ride is a ride share company, just like Uber, just like Lyft. Again, it's a ride share company, just like Uber, just like Lyft. And what do they do? They pick up passengers, they bring them from one location to the other, you pay using your app, and it's something that is a great experience. Now, what is the difference between Uber, Lyft, and Vibe Ride? Vibe Ride, some, you can actually make money if you actually are, is a Vibe Ride owner. And the people who ride as passengers, that will help you to make money. Can a Vibe Ride um, a person, uh, Make money tools, yeah. So there's many ways to make money using Vibe Ride. So that is a great part of what we call the I Go Boom Company. I like that part. It's a Vibe Ride. Now the other thing about Vibe Ride, and I, you see that I have a little uh, business card here that I created. It says go to www.igoboom.com. You can redeem your code now. Every Vibride owner has what they call a TSA code, and you can also create what we call a scan me. So you can create a scan code, and every Vibride, that's something good about them, every Vibride feeds a child. So they're part of feeding children all over the world. They may not be in every part right now, but that's the aim to be in every part of the world. Now, so this is talking about the technology part. So you can use a basic computer and a cell phone to be a part of this technology. And then wait, what are you doing? You're sharing your information, sharing your um, to the people that you already know about this company. And yes, you're gonna have to use money. Mm -hmm. Gotta use money. Sometimes it's a credit card, sometimes it's money in your bank account, but you have to use money. So that part is part of the technology part with Uber, Lyft, and Vibe Ride. Now let's look at the next component. We're talking about being creative. So we're talking about creating crafts. We're talking about musicians. We're talking about um, anything that you can sell on the market. And this is what we're calling uh, using Etsy, E-T-S-Y, you're using Pinterest. You can use OfferUp to sell these items that you create. So many of you have excellent skills. Come from your countries at various crafts. And you're trying to make some money? Do your craft just like this. One of my friends did this. And you can post on Etsy, Pinterest, and OfferUp. Now, why could you post on these sites? Because you can be anywhere in the world and use these sites. It is not US based on many of these companies. So just go ahead and create and post and sell. 
just like Amazon. They're selling all over the world. Why can't we? <laughs> right? <laughs> so teacher Diva say everybody can sell. You just got to get the right market. And when you price your items to make sure it's right for shipping, etc. And if you can't do it here, you can work it out. Some of your families is in the US can sell the products for you. So let's go to the next slide. The next slide, and this is what we're talking about in the gig economy, we have craft. So here, this was made for Father's Day. This one was made for Father's Day, and this is a basically a frame that you use to take pictures. So this is for Father's Day. Now, this one can also be made for graduation purposes, weddings, whatever you wanna have, Mother's Day, 4th of July. These things can be modernized or changed and you can have these to take pictures. Now, notice I said craft, artists, musicians. If you look right here, you all can see this is a little, uh, not a stage, but something that you can use to mark off the areas. So when you're doing craft, this is something else you can use. And it is actually a complete one, but I just took the picture and show you that you can have the three stars on it, you can put one star, you can have no star at all, but these are all items that can be used to create this area where you can have for your parties or for your events. Now, let's look at the next screen. Now, in the gig economy, somebody said, how will people know about me, Teacher Dean? How are they gonna know about my product? Here is some simple ways. You can sign up with Nextdoor. You can sign up with Angie's List for your craft. You can sign up with Upwork for some um, services. You can sign up on Craigslist. You can sign up on care.com. You can sign up on OfferUp. So these are some sites that you have that you can sign up for your craft, to expose yourself in music, to expose yourself in different ways. Here are some places that you can sign up, right? Next door, this is one that um, I know people use for car washes and various other services. So if um, I know someone to come to my house, wash my car properly on a mobile car wash, right? Then I could say, hey, PJ washed a car for you and does a great job of detailing. I recommend PJ, right? So that is for next door. Sign up with next door so people can know about you. Angie's List is another place that you could sign up with. And I could say, yeah, I know a construction company that does great work. And then I would say, go to Angie's List. You can see the construction company or that company that does great work, right? Also for Upwork, you can also see bookkeeping, bookkeeping services, all kind of freelance, all kind of self-employed people will get work in Upwork. So you can sign up with these companies, care.com for babysitters, nurses, uh, home health care. You can sign up with these companies for care.com. But each one of these you notice are service oriented. Craigslist, one of the oldest ones out there, Craigslist. Um, you can sign up on that one too to advertise yourself and let them know about your product and your services. Now also OfferUp does the same thing where you can barter or you can exchange using what we call OfferUp. Now here's one key thing that Teacher Dean says, would everything in life be careful? There are good people and bad people. So there's going to be good people on every one of these lists and there's going to be bad people on every one of these lists now what you're going to do is you're going to ask people to help you don't go out there and say ah, i can do everything on my own no ask your neighbors for help ask your friends for help before you go out there and start signing up and don't know what you're doing okay fair enough everybody understands now let's continue Let's go to the next screen. The next screen is talking about, so now I've made everything, Teacher Dean. I can post it on all those other sites. What else can I do? 
I see that many people have signed on Pinterest and they've signed things on Etsy for crafts. So these are straight from the web, I see these. Crafts are on Pinterest and Etsy and you can find many ideas out there. Now this one is done by someone that I know, right? And they did graduation caps and they did the gowns to cover the bottles, of course. This bottle is from my country, Jamaica. And what do we use that liquid for in that bottle? We use it for medicinal purposes. We use it for cooking. It can, like anything else, be used in excess and become harmful to your body. So do we use that for everyday um, drinking and stuff? No, not in my household. But we use it for cooking and for medicinal purposes. But yes, just like anything else, in excess can become a problem. Now we can also see that here we have party decorations and you could use it for uh, Fourth of July. You can use it for Memorial Day. You can use it for events, for police officers, for different groups of people that use blue and white, for schools that use those colors. So this one can be used over and over again. Now, let's go to another part of the gig economy. This is the part where young people are in and this is my little son and guess what they're doing they create beats they post these things on instagram they post on youtube they post on tiktok so all of these young people they sell everything on these sites right they sell it on various sites and the young people are doing that a lot both of my sons do this a lot they try to sell everything in this gig economy so how do you get paid we'll talk about that on the next slide so in the next slide how people are getting paid they're getting paid through paypal they're getting paid through zelle they're getting paid through vino they're getting paid through cash app so this is how you're generating your money now Again, with everything else, you're going to have someone now that is good and someone that is bad. You just got to be very careful and you just got to talk to the master about each individual that you interact with, okay? That is what I would say to people. Make sure you, you, you follow your negative vibes and your positive vibes and talk to the master about these scenarios before you get into some business transaction with people, okay? I don't care who you pray to. At this point, um, this is for educational purposes. So I am talking about just making sure you get a sense of what's going on before you do business, all right? Now, let's look at this. You can also, in America, they have this a lot where you temporarily rent your home and it's called an A-I-R-N-B. A -I -R -N -B. That's where they're temporarily renting out their home and they make money while they're on vacation or they are away from their home for a period of time. So let's wrap this up and talk about all of these online profiles and these back offices. So in online profiles and back offices, this is something going on heavily in the gig economy where they're telling you to make residual income. And you say, teacher, Dean, what is residual income? Residual income is where you make money and you don't work. You put the money in, you invest the money in like investments and you put that money into these companies and you have to invite others. Most of these companies want to invite nine people, 10 people, eight people, two people, but you're not only putting money in, but you're inviting people and you're putting money in. And so as each one grow and develop, then you can make some money. Now, it is very, very easy to get into these things and to get trapped. And what the teacher dean says, be very careful with each one that you want to try. Because if you have a large, a lot of friends, yes, you may be able to make good. But if you don't have a lot of friends and you're just trying to make friends, you would have to share this and make friends and hope that it goes true. So you have what they call 
I Go Bomb, which is a part of Vibe Rise. You have Tradera. You have what they call Susus. And that is something that we had in our country, Jamaica. We call it Pardner, right? We also have that same word Susus in, in Jamaica, but we have Pardners and we put money in. And then at a certain time, we all get that money out. So it's like a different kind of savings. We also have what they call Bitcoin. Bitcoin is another one that is very common where you, I know it's in the foreign countries and it's also in America where you can invest in Bitcoin. And sometimes they say, ah, when you have Bitcoin, you're rich. And it may be true for some, but some people are not rich from it. They're just learning it and trying to understand it. Now let's talk about all of these other things I have at the bottom. When you're doing things in the online technology, some people may want you to join Telegram. You may have to do a lot of Zoom. You may have to do Facebook. So the updates and workshops and they are gonna give you these kind of sites to join, send you links to join. You'll see a lot of YouTubes on the same topics on these residual income and investments. They are doing a lot of these in the gig economy. Also, they're doing Instagrams and TikToks. So that is one thing I want to tell everyone about. And apps, they have an app for everything. App for this, app for that. So each one of these are some things that you may have to download on your phone and what you have to download on your computers. And they have apps. And they have quite a few things that you would have to do to do what? Make money in this gig economy. So the gig economy is what? The gig economy is a place that you can be at online and on your phones where you learn to make money. Is it the easiest thing to do? Not bad, but you got to be consistent. Do it every single day so you do it every day not just one day you have to do it one day two day three day four day five day always working at it almost seven days a week in order to make it in the gig economy now in other components like we've talked about in class the gig economy also works it works for the consumers because they can get things done quickly. It works for the service providers, but they may be at a lower cost. Now, somebody said, oh, it's at a lower cost. I don't want to do it. Well, here's what Teacher Dean says. These are entry level positions where you can network. You get to know someone who can refer you to somebody else and you don't know where it's gonna take you, but it's better than staying home. It's better than staying home and looking at these walls. Try something, meet people, network. That will work for you. But staying at home, you only meet that TV and that cell phone, that bill that you have to pay for, okay? Make the cell phone that you have work for you. Make the computers that you have in your house work for you. Try something new. You never know who you're going to meet that is going to open an opportunity or a door for you. But you learn nothing by staying at home and staring at the TV, at your cell phone and at your computer. Make them work for you. Again, this is Teacher Dean teaching a little bit about the gig economy. I may have to expound more or to explain more on each one of these um, as we go along, but I want to make sure we try to do something with the technology that we have. You all have a cell phone students. You may have a computer at home, but try to do something that makes money. And what does teacher Dean say? ask for help, right? You have a lot of technology out there, the Netflix, the, the, the Spotify, 
you have YouTubes, you have so many things that people are advertising on. And I know from some of the students in the class, they have said, teacher, Facebook don't work for me. Right? But I do know that these companies, Nextdoor, Upwork, Angel's List, Care, Craigslist, and OfferUp work for some people in the classrooms. And these are immigrants, these are people who are looking for entry-level positions, high schoolers, everybody's trying to start somewhere. Somebody will recommend you. Again, this is Teacher Dean. Thank you for your time. One love. Enjoy the rest of your day. Be safe.